this is Pat Love from Pat's Two Cents. I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 2, 3, 4, and 5. This sounds like a real chastening from God. He is not a happy camper right now. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Ah, oh, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. I'm going to share with you, this is really something, because when I asked the Lord what he wanted to talk about, and I asked you, Lord, to anoint this in Jesus' name, what came to my mind was the word corruptors. So I looked it up, and it only appears twice in the whole Bible. So that was easy. But let me tell you, what came to my mind yesterday and today while I was sitting in my chair is, how Michael Jackson used to do the moonwalk. Some of you may know how to do it. Got those feet going, and they look like they're moving like they're walking forward, don't they? But which way is Michael moving? He's steadily going backwards. It is the weirdest thing. But do you know too many of us are doing that in the body of Christ? Too, ma too many of us are not in the body of Christ anymore. Some of you have backslidden all the way out the back door. Now, there's still a chance for you, so listen to this while you can. Whatever you do, don't give up on calling on God. He may not be a happy camper. But you can change his reaction on your life right now by turning back to him. Now, you can moonwalk through life. Look like you're getting it. You're making it, baby. Yeah, you're doing it. You're making that almighty dollar. You're hitting that corporate office. You're making those deals. You're working your way to the top by any means necessary. But what will it benefit you if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Is all that worth all what you'll be facing? The price you'll have to pay? You know, we don't realize we go through life and we think, I think part of it is the way our parents brought us up. Some of us have been raised by parents who never spank us, never chastise us, never bring restraints on our lives. So this is the message we get as we grow up. I can do what I'm big and bad enough to do. I'll never get caught. I'll never have to have any negative consequences. And I don't want to hear it. Go to jail? You must be crazy. Not me. Pay fines? <laughs> you know, I don't have time for rules. So don't try to inflict them on me, okay? Yeah, keep that stuff to yourself. Well, guess what? You got to serve somebody. Whether it's God whether it's Satan 
or whether it's one of these fools on this earth that holds a heavy hammer over your head. You're serving somebody. You may not know it, but you're serving somebody. And not everybody's got the love for your soul. So if it's convenient for you to serve the enemy, to serve the abuser, to serve the oppressor, to serve the, the shyster, whoever you're serving, baby, you got to pay the cost to be that boss. Now, you can live the way you want to live. You can slip and slide. You can shuck and jive. You can do whatever you want to do. You can cut those deals and undercut many good people if you want in order to make it to the top by any means necessary. But let me tell you something. There comes a day where all you've worked for, all you've aimed at, all the people who's behind you have kissed, all the brown nosing you've done throughout your life, all the kicks and punches and abuse you've allowed to happen on your body. No matter what, you've got to pay the piper for putting all that before God. Because God said, I will have no other gods before me. We bow to our abusers. We bow to money. We bow to power. We bow to our sinful appetites. We bow to gambling. We bow so I was in a, listen, years ago when I was unsaved, I was hanging out with my buddies after the nightclubs closed. We were going to head out to the restaurant, but they wanted to slide through the gambling shop. Now, I wasn't one on gambling. I thought it was stupid. Anyway, this guy sits there. Now, this is a guy who can shoot some pool. When I say shoot pool, when I watch professional billiards, this man will put every one of them to shame. That's how good he was. He was phenomenal until he gambled. And he'd lose all his money. He couldn't shoot worth a darn when the pressure was on him with the, with the dollar bill. So afterwards, he'd go to the gambling shot shack and try his, his luck there. And I sat him. I sat, I sat there and watched him lose $200 in one swoop, trying to win all that he lost in the pool hall. He tried to win it all back, and he lost another 200 Now, He's ticked off because he can't pay his rent for his family. And I'm looking at him like, as good as you shoot, as keen, as skilled, as... How can you be so dumb? That's his God. You see, when you serve that master... You bow to him. You suck up to him. You're driven by him. You have no more control over your life as much as you may think you do. Your master lords over you, baby. And you dance to the tune. Even when you know why you're betting. This is stupid. This is all I have to pay for this. Or I'm going to lose my house. And you still that thing anyway. Why? Because you are not under control. You are under their control, not your own. So you have to serve somebody. Now don't you? You may think, oh, I don't want anybody putting do's and don'ts on me. I want I want to obey what I want to do. I'm big and bad enough. I pay my own bills. I pull my own pants up. You go right on and pull your own pants up. And when your butt hits the grindstone and you have nowhere to turn, you know what you're going to do. They say there are no atheists in foxholes. Everybody turns 
Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, please. I won't do it anymore. Oh, save me. Oh, you, you know what? When God says you have gone away backwards, you have gone away back. You have moon danced so long that you don't even know. You're moon dancing your life away. Now, I ask you, call on God while he may be found. Let the sinner forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Forsake it, baby. It ain't worth it. God bless you as you ponder on the choice that's before you before it's too late.